Welcome to Amendment Number Two's kitchen. Today, we're cooking up something special for you. Yes, we are making ballistics gelatin. Here's how we do it. We want to do 10% ballistic gelatin because we want to conform to the FBI standard. The way that you do that is you have two pounds of ballistics gelatin, and we need to mix that with 18 pounds of water. Okay, two pounds plus 18 is 20. 10% of it is ballistics gelatin. First thing we have to do is figure out how we get 18 pounds of water. So I happen to know that 18 pounds of water is two gallons, and you use distilled water for this, by the way. One gallon. Oops. Second gallon. found out that uh, 20 pounds of, uh, eight, rather 18 pounds of water is 2 gallons plus 20.2 ounces. So I am going to um, put in, let's see here, 16 ounces I'm going to put in. Plus another 4 ounces. And just a smidge, that's too much, for the 0.2 ounces. All right. Then what we have to do is we're actually not going to boil all 18 um, pounds of this. We're going to boil 14 pounds and save 4 pounds to mix in the ballistic gelatin just to get just the gelatin itself to um, get it all wet prior to putting in the, the boiling water. So I'm basically taking four pounds out. And I'm going to put the ballistic powder in here, the gelatin powder in here, and I'm going to boil the other 14 pounds. The next step is we're going to take the room temperature water, four pounds of it, and we're going to mix in the two pounds of the gelatin powder just so that the gelatin becomes, all of it becomes wet. You know, just mix it gently. And you'll see it's going to start to get really, really thick. This is amendment number two, son, that's helping out. I did not grow an extra set of hands, but you probably figured that out. A little bit faster. Okay, and now we're just going to keep mixing it until all the gelatin gets, touches the water basically and we're going to add in a few drops of the foamer. Keep foamer, thank you Vanna White. Take the cap off first to help. Okay, and that's just so that when we put in the boiling water and we mix it, it does not completely bubble up because you don't want to have bubbles. Or an unplugged drill. Or an unplugged drill. You don't want to have bubbles in your ballistic skeleton. Yeah, here comes the boiling water. This is a quick and dirty way to do it, by the way. You can find other instructions 
that tell you to heat the water to a specific temperature. Uh, I have found you don't really have to do that. If you start out with four pounds of water at room temperature, this works just as well. Okay, we're going to continue mixing this, and then uh, keep going. we're going to continue mixing this, and then we're going to just let it sit for two hours, mixing it every 15 minutes before we pour it into the mold. Okay, while we're waiting for the two hours to uh, let the that's Amendment Number Two's dog, by the way, who's very curious about what we're doing. Same. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Cheyenne. Good girl again. While we're waiting the two hours for that stuff to uh, to uh, set up a little bit, um, you can get these molds. Huh, see, mold. It's for people like me who don't know what that means. And then they have liners. Okay, the mold basically just uh, creates the block. This is a six by six by twenty, which is what the FBI standard is, and it just holds it in uh, in that shape for the three days that it's going to be refrigerated. And then you can also buy these plastic liners that go in there that keep it uh, from leaking out of the, the cardboard box. And there's kind of a trick to this. You have to push it all the way down in, and you want to flip it over the, the, the sides to kind of hold it in place, which is easier said than done. Once you get it in there, you want to kind of flatten out the plastic because if there's lines in there, it's going to create lines in the, in the gelatin block and um, it'll just be that much more difficult to see the results. So basically, you end up with a lined box. All right, so the, the mixture has been sitting for two hours and it's been um, stirred gently every 15 minutes. So after two hours of it cooling, we pour it into the mold and we're going to do that using a funnel. Just do it gently and slowly. Okay, it's poured in. And now, we take this mold and we put it in the refrigerator and it's going to sit there for three days. And that's it. It'll just sit there for three days and it'll be done. We'll be back in three days. Okay, so while you're waiting the three days for the gelatin blocks to, to, uh, to set up, you're going to need to clean this stuff and I just wanted to make a quick comment about cleaning. You could rinse this stuff out in the sink and um, it's not really the easiest way to do it. All you got to do, wait a couple of days and you can literally just pull the gelatin now, like that, comes right out. That's a heck of a lot easier than trying to scrub down gooey gel. Same thing even for for the funnel, comes right out. Well, it's been three days. Just to set up, we're going to take it out, we're going to shoot it, but let's take a look at what it looks like.
Nice amber color. And it's ready to shoot. We just cut the plastic open and let it go. Thank you for watching this installment of Amendment Numbers 2 Kitchen.